Hi and welcome to this new tutorial on Customerly. Today you're going to learn how to connect any list on Customerly to a Facebook custom audience. This way you can run real marketing campaign based on your Customerly list on Facebook. Let's start with creating the job to connect Customerly to Facebook when a contact has been assigned with a new tag. Are you ready? Cool. So click on make it up. Search for Customerly as a trigger and select Customerly. Now choose an event, new tag on a user and continue. Now choose any of your Customerly account and continue. Now, as a first action, we need to filter only contact with a specific tag. Because of this, we can select Filter. This will continue only if the field tag exactly matches our tag basic user. Perfect. We can hit Continue and we can test it or skip the test. Now, we need to add another action and now we can connect Facebook custom audiences. Let's select the add email to custom audience and click continue. Now you can select your Facebook account with Zapier and again continue. Now you can select the add account and the custom audience and here in your email field you can select the email coming from customer hit continue. Great, now that you have created your own Zap, you can turn it on and once it's turned it on, you can create your own segment in Customerly if you don't have one, otherwise you can skip to the funnel part. From your Customerly dashboard, select contact, then default, users, and then on the right, you can select company, plan name, condition, whatever it is, basic, whatever it fits you, you can change this based on how you are tracking your users or whatever custom segment you want to create. Now you can save it, this way you can reuse it in a funnel. Let's now create that funnel that is going to tag all the customers in your own list to pass them to Facebook ads. Great, select funnel, create new, from here, use the template I'm created. Now select the entry point. From here, you can select user, create a filter with the list is, and you can select the last list you created. Apply the filter. Here we go, we've got 7,000 7, people. You can rename it. And that's it. Now we can assign a tag. And here, we're going to add an internal name. And here we're going to add the same tag that we have used in Zapier. Oh, I forgot one. Okay, great. Now it's time to connect these two nodes. Great. And here we go. The funnel will work for you. You can finalize it, give it an internal name again. Here we go. You can run it all week long. And now you can publish. Great, now that you have discovered how to link all your uh, segments in Customerly within any, anything in, in Zapier actually, uh, what would you like to discover in the next tutorial? Thank you so much for watching this.